Hello everybody, I am Sarah Banks from Banks' Business Solutions and today I want to talk about freelancing via gig websites. I remember when I started out wondering how I'd find clients and registering with one of these sites called Upwork. There's lots of others out there, um, there's Fiverr, um, that's another one that I know of quite well um, and I know there are others out there. When I first registered with Upwork I was really shocked by the competitiveness of the platform and the way that the fees worked. To be honest, for me as a UK-based freelance professional, it didn't really feel a great place to be. And I quickly realised that the anonymity of the platform meant that I never really connected with the clients that I was working with and couldn't really build a relationship with them. And for me, being able to connect with my clients and build a relationship with them is absolutely key to the work I do. Because as I get to know them, I find that there are other ways that I can help and support them beyond what they've initially come to me for. And that's actually really important to what I do and to to growing and developing my business and my relationship with my clients. The other downside that I found with this platform was that any reviews that clients left for me were tied into the platform and I couldn't actually share them outside of that platform. Now, that's great if you are in a position to build your business through one of these platforms, but if you're actually trying, like I was, to build a reputation outside of that platform and get some direct clients, I wasn't able to share those reviews and that then wasn't allowing my reputation to grow externally. Now, that's not to say that these platforms don't have a place in the market, I think they do, and I have clients that have used them for simple tasks. But if you do consider working via Fiverr, Upwork or a similar platform, then do so with caution, because actually the best way to grow your business and find clients is to have open conversations with people, get to know them and build those relationships. And for clients, if you are using those platforms, do think about the people that you're working with, are they registered for GDPR, particularly if they're based abroad and charging a very low fee, um, that's something that's really, really important if you're sharing data with them. And also think about if they are UK based, whether or not they're actually earning the UK minimum wage, because that can also be an issue with these platforms. I hope this has been helpful for those of you that are considering either working with a freelancer via a gig website or using a gig website yourself. I'd love to hear your views on this and if people have built successful businesses through them then I'd love to hear about that because certainly kind of the things that I've heard in the industry over the years have been quite negative um, within the UK about these platforms. So I hope this has been helpful for you today and thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me in another video soon. Bye for now.